Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial in Canva. Today we are going to be creating a very interesting business flyer inside of Canva and if this is something you want to create, stay tuned, we'll be right back after the intro. Okay, here we are in Canva and the first thing to do before we can start designing is to click on create a design. Okay, then we have um, several dimensions we can choose from but I would love to go with a custom um, dimension because I always love to post uh, my designs on Instagram. Okay, and um, you can also go with the 1080 by 1080 but with the kind of flyer I want to make 1080 by 1080 wouldn't favor us so I would go for custom dimension and I'm going to use the 1080 by 1350. 1080 for the width and 1350 for the height. Okay, I already have it open so if this is what you also want to use you can just enter it here and open a new tab okay so we are here the first thing we are going to do is to come into our element which we already are and I'll select the square shape okay and I would resize it this way okay the second thing I'm going to do is to click on my background and change the color to black but I'm not going to use a black color I'm going to use a darker green so I come here and just move it up a little bit okay yes so this is what we have at the moment so I select my um, rectangle and I rotate it somewhere like nine degrees okay then I position it here the next thing I am going to do okay or well, let me just send it down okay so the second thing I'm going to do is to select my um, shape over here and duplicate it okay then I move it up a little bit so that I can change the color I select the colors and I come here to choose an orange color okay so I want to go with something like this so I can move it down and also rotate it a little bit to maybe 11 okay 11 then I right click and I would send it to the back okay then I'll use my arrow to lift it up a little bit so this is what we have the third thing I'm going to do is to select the shift again and duplicate this time around with the color i'm going to use a black color okay so i would move it this way okay and i'll right click and send it to the back okay so this is what i have and i can also rotate it more so you can see this is what we have at the moment so i select all three and i move them down a little bit because we are not really going to put anything on here it's just um a design okay so the fourth thing we are going to do is to come into grids and select okay the first option we have over here and resize it okay so resize it to something like this which is cool and um, i'll select this shape okay duplicate the shape and position it you know here so maybe i can move it up a little bit okay and maybe resize it more and i can yeah position it here then i can duplicate the shape again come into colors and choose the orange color okay once you use a color you know it sees it as the document color so you can just select that and um, with this what i'm going to do is to move this one up a little bit and rotate it more okay so maybe somewhere like 10 um, degrees okay so that's what we have at the moment or what we can even do what we can even do is just to make sure um, we are doing everything correctly we can first of all add um, the orange shape okay you can first of all add the orange shape and secondly come to add your yellow but this time around I would actually can bring this to front so that you know it gets to look like this and I rotate it slightly okay so rotate it slightly like this then i would select the shape again duplicate it and um you know i can decide to use um, a black so select this and use the black because we use a black here also okay so i would also rotate it more and move it to the top and i would rotate it slightly yeah so 
we have something like this okay now this is what i want us to do so i'll just you know position my element a little bit and we have this so we need to hide all of these things over here and how do we do that what we are going to do is to select the shape and duplicate and change the color to the gray we are already using for our background okay then we you know do something like this so i can rotate my shape okay like this so that it gets to look like we have a you know a nice design over here so this is a nice way you can you can do it and it depends if you want to use this style okay so i want us to do this you know something similar also at the top so what i'm going to do is to um first of all select this okay and duplicate and move it to the top and i will rotate it slightly and yeah move it here then i duplicate this one and duplicate it more okay then i can choose the orange color okay so you can see what we are we are trying to create so i would send the orange to the back okay what you can do to send it to the back is you can click on it and come to position and select backwards okay yeah or you can use control and the square um brackets okay yeah you can do that then i can select again and duplicate and i'm going to use the black color okay so the black color can be here but i'll rotate it slightly something like this okay something like this then i select the shape duplicate it and move it to the top then i would rotate my shape this way okay so you can see we've added a little bit of so you can see we've added some style to this okay so this is what we have at the moment but you can also you know go crazy with it a little bit do it something like this we can even do the same for this so we have something like this which i think is looking very cool so we have something like this okay then what i'm going to do next is to add some text so i can go into um, text and click on add the heading then we have it over here i would move this to the bottom okay and i'll select um, a new typeface so i come here to change that and i can just search for mont right because that's what i want to use but you can use any one you want so i can just search for mont serrat okay and i'm going to use the extra board version for my main title okay so once it changes all you need to do is to click and i can um, add any text so i can say um so this is what i want to use as my text and i will select boot text and i will make them italic okay then i can just position it here then because i have several colors here i can choose any of the colors you know for my text but i don't want to change the entire color so i can choose maybe business okay and um come into my colors and select let's say the orange so i want to use the orange for my business um you know text i have over here now there are other things i would want to do the next thing is to add a subheading okay and i bring that here and i come into my um you know my text area just to change the text and i can click on the montserrat classic the reason why i'm using montserrat classic is that's this the subheading the reason why i'm choosing this montserrat classic is because i am up to the extra board that's the next font that is um, a little bit bolder okay so that's the reason and um, i'll just put so this is the text i want to use your business partner and i'm going to okay bring it here and yes this is what we have at the moment okay so i will just reduce the size of this also a little bit to make it equal okay i want the uh the width to be equal to what i have for the business okay so this is what i have over here and i also want to you know increase the spacing a little bit 
and add some more text over here so to add more text what i will do is i'll go into a new tab and search for dummy text okay then i'll select all of this text i'll just select what i need not all of it and i'll copy come back and paste okay so you can see this is what we have um right now so let me just put this here okay so i'll select this and change it to the regular Montserrat. okay then i reduce the size and increase so i position it here and i will change the alignment to something like this and just try to um you know align it properly so that it's no longer than what we have over here so this is what i have at the moment and i can also move it to the top okay okay so you can see this is what we have at the moment and um maybe let's say i wanted to add some extra details and uh, maybe some icons what i'll do is i'll come here okay then i'll go into my element and um some let's say we can search for globe okay g l o b e and we have this so i select the first globe icon i have over here and the second thing i'm going to do is to search for something like um target because every business loves to hit target and they talk about target and stuff like that so we can search for target okay then the next thing we can also do is to um let's say search for maybe percentage okay so we have um percentages here but you can see most of them are just i don't want to use it because it's too fancy and we are designing something that has um a, a corporate feel so we don't need any fancy stuff in there so i can change it to marketing okay i think i made a mistake in my spelling so i just so correct it quickly and there are several things over here we can use so um maybe i can use this just to show that we want to scale our business okay so now that we have this how can we make them look presentable or i have to do is to press c on my keyboard for circle or you can go into element and um you know select circle from there i'll reduce the size of this okay something like this and um i'll create three versions of it so just duplicate it um two times okay then position it there then the globe will be the first thing so i change the color of my globe to white then i reduce the size and send this circle backwards so right click send backwards so that my globe can fit okay so this is what i have then the next thing i'm going to do is to select the target okay to so select target reduce the size and you know it's also behind so select this and send it backward then i select the target and reduce the size of the target okay position here reduce it more and position it here then you can select this also reduce the size more and bring it here do the same right click back and change the color to white okay so this is what we have at the moment and um, you can see this is what we have so just to be sure our alignment is correct we can just increase okay just zoom in and you know position it well so this is what we have at the moment so let's say there was some extra text you wanted to add or something like that or maybe a percentage you were you know something of that sort we can come back into the shapes okay so into shapes and add a circle or you can use any circle at all so i can position it here okay then i can duplicate it change the color to white and reduce the size a little bit okay and also align it correctly over here so this is what we have and maybe i can just select this and uh, i'll say um 50 percent okay 
so let's say we're having a promo or something of that sort i just add 50 percent okay then i add it here then i can say maybe get up to 50 percent you know that kind of things um they always get to do so i can put it here and just say get up to okay then i would use and position it here then select all and come back no not back but come down a little bit so we have this over here then what we are going to do next okay is to add a logo so i can just search for logo over here but in this um in this step i would highly recommend you use your logo and with every color we use over here make sure you're using your brand colors but if this is just you know a template or something for your client make sure you're using your client's colors okay so i would search for um a random logo i always get to use you know for my um tutorial so this one and i'll make it bigger a little bit position it here and change the color to you know something like this so i can bring this text over here and change the text to company logo okay then i can do this and hit it just change alignment okay and reduce the line spacing of this so this is what we have at the moment so i position it here and as usual we can also add social media icons if you want to do that so i come into still an element and i can search for facebook okay and once we do that we have the facebook we select that and i go on to search for instagram okay then i also can add it here then um i can also search for let's say twitter if i want to select it and add it here okay then i will select all three okay but i'll hold shift and deselect what i have behind and the reason why i arrange them this way is because i want to reduce the size and make sure they are all they've all been reduced evenly okay so that's the reason so i position this here select the instagram and position it here okay and i change the color to the orange change the blue okay of the twitter change the blue to the orange and the facebook to the same thing the blue to the orange and this is what we have at the moment but i would also want to do something here i'll select this and i can change the black the black to the orange okay so that's not far from our colors then one more thing we need to add a photo so i come into photos search for sky scrapers okay how do you spell sky scraper sky and scraper is i've forgotten how to spell sky yeah s-c-r-a-p-i-s okay so we have this over here then we can choose any of these ones but just make sure you are not using um any photo with um you know the canva how do you call it um just make sure you're not using any photo with the canva watermark okay so what we can even do next is to add a little bit of white um you know like with this shape but we just make a white and reduce transparencies so i would rotate it this way and um you know position it here change the color to white and reduce the transparency to something like this okay then i can send it you know backwards i can send it backwards to all of these things are in front so something like this okay it can be something like this if you want or or we can rotate it more bring it to the bottom and have it here okay so something like this and you can just you know have them even here depending on the style you want but this is what i wanted us to create in this tutorial and i hope you found it helpful if you did consider liking sharing subscribing commenting anything you want and um, yes that's it for now my name is benjamin and i will see you in my next canva tutorial